So in this video, I want to show how we can manipulate coordinate systems for a specified area. And so we're just going to pick a state. So we'll pick New Mexico here. Now this looks pretty good, but it's not really the shape of New Mexico. So if I wanted a coordinate system to correctly represent the shape of a specific state, then I would need to change the coordinate system of this map, which is uh, the default map in ArcGIS Pro is this uh, WGS84 Web Mercator. So it's a nice uh, projection, but uh, we can do better maybe. So a nice map that shows good, good shape would, well, if I go to North America and under the continental projection, so um, before I get too far along here, um, so we have two basic kinds of coordinate systems in ArcGIS. We have geographic coordinate systems or GCSs which use the ellipsoid and just just locates things on the earth by latitude and longitude and those are basically unprojected uh, which isn't exactly true because when I see it on a flat screen that's that's projected so um, it's just straight uh, angle to pixel projection basically so um, more or less it's not being transformed in any reasonable way, but projected coordinate systems do. And they are using a specific datum, which is a combination of the ellipsoid, most likely the North American datum of 1983, or the World Geodetic Survey of 1984, WGS84, and that's those are very similar ellipsoids, basically these these uh, ellipsoidal shapes that represent the Earth, and combined with the geoid, which is a gravitational model of the Earth, uh, mixed together to fit well for specific areas, right? And so the, here we have a lot of uh, projected coordinate systems based on these different datums. Those are the two most common ones. So. Um, if I look in North America, there are some decent ones here. Everything that says conic means that the projection is based off, off of a cone wrapped around the world, either passing through the surface of the Earth or just touching at one uh, parallel. Um, so the uh, conic sections, and then you also have most of them in America are con conic because they're great for showing very long east-westness um, over short north-southness. So the U.S. is generally twice as wide as it is tall, if you want to say. So a lot of these are conic. Um, for specific states, though, you may want to use um, different ones. And so you can look at, um, like, California. If I wanted to map all of California, maybe I would use a UTM coordinate system, which uses a cylinder that's laid sideways, hence the transverse part of UTM, Universal Transverse Mercator, and, and that cylinder is wrapped around the Earth and laid flat, so what's touching the Earth is basically around the poles, lines of longitude. In our case, uh, we're just going to use the uh, Lambert Conformal Conic, which is nice because it conformal is basically preserving the shape. So that's kind of what we want. Um, however, if I just use that, it projects the United States in a very uh, common and, and maybe very familiar way. If you've seen these maps, now we see lines of latitude have a nice curvature and, and we see these nice shapes for the states because those, those shapes are preserved. Well, um, however the orientation is not yet. but we can actually work with that so instead of just picking that I'm going to um, here's the coordinate system that's in Lambert conformal conic I've already made one here but um, I'll show you what I mean I'll copy and modify it which allows me to access some of the properties or at least see them I can't change the the geographic basically the datum of of the map but I can pro change how it's being projected just a little bit. So the central meridian, uh, and that's what's causing it to shift uh, or, or tilt sideways because the central meridian is off to the east. 
Um, so if I change that, that might work. And then, uh, well, that'll center uh, the state that I'm look at, looking at. And then I can change the parallels and the um, origin latitude. So in this case, we have um, an origin of latitude at 39 degrees uh, uh, latitude. <laughs> and that's actually halfway in between the standard two parallels. So if we do that with New Mexico and just look at the, um, well, let's look at these numbers and see how they're, how how they work with um, North America. So 33 and 45, right? So let's go back here. So I can put my cursor around and just kind of find 33. So 33 is kind of along the bottom edge, but not all the way down, right? So that would be one place where the cone is actually passing through the surface of the Earth. And then 45 is somewhere up here where it's, you know, maybe passing through the upper quarter. Um, so basically, you're, you're cutting it into quantiles, I guess. <laughs> so if I do that with New Mexico, let's see what we get. Well, before I go there, let's, let's look at what those are. So if I put my cursor, you know, roughly you know, visually in the middle, uh, as far as east-west, I'm looking at uh, 106, as far as longitude goes, 106.12, let's say that. So 106.12, and I would write that down. And let's look at the bottom quarter-ish, maybe around the Sacramento Mountains, and I'm looking at 33, so that sounds pretty good because Mexico is at the border. So 33 again, and perhaps 36.2. Okay, so 106.2, 36.2, and 33. So those are the numbers that I would choose to copy and modify. So negative 106, because we're west. 33 and what do we say 36.2 uh, halfway in between there that's really just what 3.2 so 1.6 is half of that so 34.6 could be a an origin uh, good enough so let's save that well, let's name it let's call it the New Mexico uh, conformal conic and we have meters as our linear unit, so that's great. Okay, um, let's go ahead and add that to my favorites, and okay, let that reproject. And now we have um, New Mexico looking pretty upright, anyway, <laughs> and um, a nice shape. So that's that's a good good um, see a little bit of convergence on those lines, uh, those north lines. So. Um, nice, nice shape. So that would be the first step in, in choosing uh, the state um, for this assignment. And then we just start adding data and we'll just kind of project our data to this. Now ArcGIS already does that for you. So if I add um, like the all the United States uh, layer, which is based off all the counties, so it's a pretty uh, detailed uh, Pretty large scale. That redraw. 